Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dean from Sentinel Soap. In today's project, I'm going to be making some cold process soap. The fragrance that I'm going to be using is pomegranate and mango. I have not used this fragrance before, but I've been told it works fine in cold process soap. So let's see how we go. For my dyes, I'm going to be using bright red mica. Now I've used this dye before and it turns the batter orange. So I know that it's not going to turn out the same color that you see it on the screen. So for my other color, which is going to be red, I'm mixing bright pink mica, which is a neon and rose wood mica. So these two mixed together make a red. So as soon as I added my fragrance, this accelerated, but it was still within acceptable limits of being able to move the batter around and shape it. But this was okay. It was still flexible. There was a lot of scraping going along. It was very sticky, almost like uh, toothpaste, and it got very hot very quickly. See when I've cut it, there's a couple of holes in the soaps. Now what I did to fix these was, so there's a little bit at each end that I cut off and because the soap is still pliable, I've just picked that off and put it into the hole. And by the time that six weeks goes past, it's solid soap. So I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I did not think that it would be this difficult because I've been told by a number of people that they've used this fragrance and they've had no problems, but I'm still very happy with the results. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.